Hi, today we're looking at Elincrom's Studio software package. This is available as a download from Elincrom's website. It allows us to control our units via the Elincrom bridge in our studio and to save setups. Let's have a look at the software now. The nice clean appearance of the software makes it very easy to control our units. Across the top, I have an open flash button, which I can press and it will fire the units connected to the software in the studio. The modeling lamps I can turn on or off and my audible recycle beep can be turned on and off too. The last button on the end is the off button. I can turn all my units on or off from standby whenever I need to. If we go down to the side, we can see group one is the ELC 500 and the color here is depicted on the side of the unit. ELC 500, group one. Group three, ELC125 is now in red, and I can see here group three, and here's my unit. I can see exactly the power settings they are set to. It also gives me not only the Elencrom value, but the watt seconds or joules that the unit is putting out. One nice thing about the Elencrom system is if you set them both to exactly the same power, they're both putting out exactly the same watt seconds. So we've got 46.1 watt seconds on both units. Obviously the 500 goes up higher than the 125 does, but if you want to mix and match your lights and get a nice consistent look, you can control them like this. The modeling lamp power is set to 6.1 on this unit and a modeling lamp is on here at 2.5. We can adjust in tenth of f-stops or we can use the slider to go up in larger increments. I have a free, a proportional or an off setting for my modeling lamp exactly as I would on the head. If we look at the tabs, if I hit my settings tab, it tells me on here my auto standby is off, but I can hit this button and put my unit into standby. Photo cell, on or off, sound, on or off for the recycle, and my recycling time can be either fast or eco. Eco is used when we're using a battery inverter out on location. The third tab is statistics. If I hit that, it tells me the firmware ID of the unit, it tells me my unit ID, the flash counter in its life, and the flash session, so how many flashes has done since we last turned it on. The important thing is, it's also telling me there's a new firmware available for it. If I download this from the Ellen Crom's website, along with the Ellen Crom updater, I can update my head and keep it up to date. Coming back down to here, I have auto refresh, which is on. If I click this, it gives me a manual option, and it just means if I add extra heads into the studio, I can refresh this screen, and the new heads will appear in these spaces. The other one nice thing about it is, if you're in a big commercial studio, and you do your setups monthly for the same customer, and you generally use the same lighting setups and modifiers, what we can do is set our exposures on here to get our correct apertures that we're after. So let's have a main light as our ELC 500 at 3.8, and we have 2.8 on the 125. This gives me my fill light. Now I can save this setup in my computer. Let's put it on my desktop so it's very easy to find. And let's call this one Portrait. Let's save this down. So my portrait session has been and gone, and they're going to come back next month. This could be a furniture shoot. This could be anything. So when I want to put my lights back, let's mess these up, put them to a different setting. All I now need to do is choose load. It brings up my box, desktop, portrait. All my settings go back to exactly as they were before. So you can save down different setups in your studio to create different effects, but you can also go back to them very, very quickly and easily. I hope you found this video informative. For any more information, please go to ellencrom.com or contact your local dealer.